Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another visual pattern challenge. This is the pattern we did yesterday, and we counted all the blocks. Today, we're going to do it in a slightly different way. These are unit blocks, and each of them has a different value. That white square it has a, a value of 1. The red bar is twice as long, so it has a value of 2. So today, we're going to try to calculate and predict the value of all these unit blocks added together for each step. So that's our pattern. Here's step one, here's step two, here's step three. Your challenge, and this is a tough one today, is to predict the value of the unit blocks in step four. If you can do that, can you predict the value for step 43? This is not an easy task. Can you write an equation? And let me tell you, this is a pretty crazy equation to predict the value of the unit blocks in any step at all. If you'd like to accept that challenge, pause the video, see how far you can get. All right, so let's begin here by um, thinking about the value of all these unit blocks in step one, and then we can kind of um, uh, build up to step four from there. So we noticed yesterday that there are these sort of six pyramids and then a little extra stuff going on. So let's think about the pyramids. Each pyramid here in this first step has a, a one unit block, a two unit block, and a three unit block. So if you add that together, you'd get six, and then there are six of them. So six times six is 36, and then we've got one, two, three on the outside, plus one more on the inside. So that gives us four more. The whole thing adds up to 40. So our the value of the unit blocks in, in step one is 40. Um, what changes then from step to step? Well, we add this blue one, which is a value of four. So we've got those four six times. So we're adding uh, 24 there. Plus this unit block that sticks off of three of them on the outside, it went from a, a one unit block to a two unit block. So we've added three more. So I'm just jotting down what we've added. So six times four, is 24, 25, 26, 27. So it looks like we've added 27. So 40 plus 27 would be 67 blocks in that step. Here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add, but instead of a 4, we're going to add a 5. So 6 times 5 here is 30. And then we add 3 more because we expanded the unit blocks that stick out by 1. So we're adding 33. So 67 plus 33 is going to equal 100. Okay, so in step four, we're starting with this base of 100, and then we're going to add the next block up, which is going to be a six. So six of the six blocks, so 100 plus 36, and then one, two, three more because we extend these by one, so plus three. So 139. So that would be my prediction for step four is 139 uh, for the value of all the unit blocks. Does that make sense? I know it's a little hard to see without a diagram, but this is pretty complicated to draw out. So I'm going to say 139. Let's actually next uh, analyze these values. So, so I'm going to make a chart with the step number and the value of each step. And we've done most of this calculation already, so it shouldn't take too long. So in step one, we had a value of 40. In step two, 67. In step three, uh, what was that? Uh, 100, yeah. And in step four, 139. So this is going up pretty quickly, it looks like. Let's, uh, let's take the differences. So that's 27 there. And then that is 33. 100 minus 67 is 33. And then this one's 39. So we're not getting a constant. So this is not a linear pattern. That makes sense to me. Uh, let's uh, take the difference of the differences. Uh, so 33 minus 27 is 6, and 39 minus 33 is 6. Aha! So this is a quadratic pattern. So there's an x squared. And actually, when you get this number, this constant for the difference of the differences, if you divide that by 2, that's the coefficient for your x squared term. So there's a 3x squared as our highest term. There's more than that going on here, though, because 3 times 1 squared would be 3, and we have 40 
here. So that's not even close to expressing the 40 blocks in step one. So how do we approach this? I think this and then calculating in step 43, because I don't think you could really do that very easily without an equation. This is super hard. So if you just got the 139 in step four, give yourself a pat on the back. And if this proves to be a stumper for you, don't worry about it. I will walk you through this so you can at least experience it. So here's how I approached this one. I know I noticed that we have these little pyramids and there are six of them. So I think I'm going to find a formula for one of these little pyramids and and then multiply that by six and then add on whatever else is going on. That That's my approach. This pyramid, the one and then the two and then the three. Um, and then, of course, in the next step, one, two, three, four, and the next step, one, two, three, four, five. I had seen this pattern before, right? So that's a six, and then a 10, and then a 10, and then a 15. These are the triangular numbers. And I had seen that before, and I remembered, oh, yeah, I think that's x squared plus x divided by 2. And then I checked that, right? So I put a 1 in there. 1 um, plus 1 divided by 2. Well, that's just 1, but I got 6 here. So maybe we're off by a step. Let, let, let's try putting 2 in here. So if I did 2 um, squared, that'd be 4 plus 2 is 6 divided by 2 is 3. That's still not 6 for step 1. What if I put a 3 in here? That'd be 3 squared plus 3. So 9 plus 3 is 12 divided by 2. Ooh, that's where I get the 6. So in step three, I got a six, but this is step one. Let's just check this with the next step. So if I put a four in there, four squared plus four divided by two, 16 plus four would be 20 divided by two, that's 10, aha. So it seems to be matching with these numbers, but um, it's two steps up. So I can take this and put in x plus two for x in each step. So x plus two, quantity squared plus x plus 2, and then all of that divided by 2 should be one of these uh, pyramids. But that's not all that's going on, right? Because uh, I would then need to multiply that by 6. And then the things I haven't accounted for are this 1 in the middle, which that's easy. That's just a plus 1 at the end. And then the 3 on the outside. And the 3 on the outside are one long and then two long and then three long. So that's really just the, um, the the step number times three. So I would have, in addition to this big thing, a plus three x and a plus one. And that <laughs> was the equation I came up with. So when I foiled all that out and added it up together and, and combined the like terms, what I ended up with is three x squared plus uh, 18x plus 19. So I'm not going to go through all those steps of simplifying. You can try that out if you'd like to and see if you come up with the same thing. This is what I came up with. And then I tested it. So if we put a 1 in there, that would be uh, 3 plus 18 plus 19. And that, indeed, is 40. If you put a 2 in there, it'll add up to 67, I promise. You may want to try that. It's, it's going to be 12 plus 36 plus 19, and that is 67. You can test it with step three. This is an equation that works. So pretty insane how you have to get there, but that's the equation. Oops, not 18, 18x. So 3x squared plus 18x plus 19. If you're able to get that far, then plugging in into uh, to calculating for step 43 is simple. You just plug in 43 for x. So you'd have y equals 3 times 43 squared plus 18 times 43 plus 19. And you'd probably want to get out your calculator. To calculate all of that, I ended up with 6,340. But I would love it if someone would try to verify that. Well, how did that go for you? Did you get 139 in step four? If you did, kudos. Great job. Nicely done. Did you try to come up with an equation? Were you able to get any kind of an equation? How did you approach that? I'm really curious to know what your method was. And if you got 
to step 43? Did you get the same number? I'd love to know. Well, thanks everybody.